Hey there, welcome back to Unicorn Desk Design. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and on my channel we do DIYs, wood signs, and there's always tons of laughter. Today we are kicking off the Creative Champion competition with Heidi Sambal DIY. Cannot wait to show you what I have in store for you. I also wanted to say a thank you to Bellway for sponsoring today's video. I cannot wait to share more about their product later in this video. Let's get going. All right, so for the first DIY, you guys, I am recycling this old frame from fall. All I'm doing is taking my heat gun. We are going to warm up that hot glue so that I can take everything back off. You can also, whatever's remaining, it just kind of peeled off. It was pretty easy. And then you'll just sand down the excess. And that's, again, if you have something like this. I also have done this DIY. I'm gonna leave the links for you down in the description box um, a couple different ways. So I am taking my truffle by Waverly and I am taking my Waverly chalk brush and I am brushing it on there. Now, I wanted a distressed look, but this frame was ivory and I was going for white. So I ended up deciding, you know what? I'm gonna cover it up just a little bit more, but I did keep some open spots cause I wanted it to look like wood grain. So I'm gonna go ahead and completely cover the entire sign with the truffle paint. And then we're gonna move on to our next step, maybe. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna measure the inside of my frame. So I think it was like 16 by 12. Then taking some foam core board, I am going to measure that down using my craft knife. Make sure that fits perfectly in there. Voila, it does. Now taking painter's tape, I am going to create some stripes. So you're gonna get a little piece, just like I did right there, and go further up though, go in the middle. I don't know why I went so far down. And we're gonna use that as a guide and that's going to give us straight lines and it is also going to give us the perfect amount of spacing in between each of our stripes here. So now taking Still Gray by Waverly, I am just gonna paint this right on there. Of course, you guys, this is preference. Um, I decided to cover the entire thing. You can do like a distressing, whatever you want to do, but we are going to dry brush on top of this. So I'm gonna finish painting, then we're gonna take off and see those crisp lines. Oh my gosh, there's nothing more beautiful than crisp lines, let me tell you. And I used my expensive painter's tape, so you know your girl is saving this. All right, so now taking some white Waverly chalk paint, I am dry brushing it on the gray and the white board. I get it, it's white, but it does show up and it makes it look like it's painted. So, and then I mess up on the last stripe and I kind of like go ham and oh, right there. Ay, ay, ay. Did not want that, but you know what? You just gotta work with what you got, right? So we're gonna finish that up. Now we're gonna set that aside. Now taking one of these wreath forms from Dollar Tree, I am cutting it up. We're gonna use the two middle rings here. Now taking burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree, I'm just going to wrap this baby around. I'm just gonna keep on wrapping it. I'm pulling tight and then we're gonna hot glue it again at the end. This is gonna give us a great base to put our greenery on so we're not trying to attach it to the little skinny round piece things, you know. Okay, you guys get it. All right, so now taking some firm, this is actually from Walmart and I had it in my stash, but you guys, look at how amazing that like bended, bent, bended, you know what I'm saying, to the round wreath form. And I thought it was just different than using boxwood. A lot of us do use boxwood lamb's ear, which I love and I have a bunch of it. This just looked, I don't know, different. It looks, I don't know, to me like upscale, higher end. So I go ahead and I just layer a few of those fern pieces on just to make it look nice and full. This stuff attached so easily to the burlap and each other, it didn't melt. It was really awesome. So after you get that full and how you like it, then we are going to, um, I just added little pieces of the leaves on the little bald spots where you could see the burlap still. So now taking the remainder of that burlap ribbon, I am going to play around with our placement here. I have it on our foam board, just seeing where I want it to lay. I made a decal, which will be available in my Etsy shop for you. I'm just gonna hot glue the ribbon to the back of our foam board. 
And you guys, like I said, I have made this a couple different ways. I have made it with paint sticks as the frame and I have made a bigger, uh, like big version of the foam board with a bigger picture frame. So definitely check those out. All right, so I applied my Oracle 651 permanent vinyl. It says pray, wait, trust. Really love that saying. And now we are just going to pop this in. Now, we majority of us know foam board likes to start bending when you apply paint to it. So what I had to do here was put some hot glue on the inside of the frame, which didn't bother me. I could always rip it out, right? But on the right side where I had cut just a little too much, I had to get a craft stick, hot glue it in there so it didn't like bow back out. And yeah, all check this out. Would anybody in their right mind ever think that I made this with Dollar Tree items, Walmart items? I mean, no, they would think I got this at Hobby Lobby and that's exactly the way I intended it to be. All right, y'all, that first DIY in my opinion, came out so super cute and it was so, so easy. All right, you guys, I want to explain what's going on here today. So I joined in in the Creative Champion competition hosted by Heidi Ensemble DIY. I'm going to leave the link for her channel down in my description box along with the hop for today's video. So we're not only doing a competition, we're also doing a hop so you can see the other creators in the competition. So head down to my link, click, head down to my description box, click on the link to see who is next in this hop. Make sure to head over to Heidi Sambles page so you can see all of the DIYs that we submitted for the competition. And then you're going to vote on her website for your favorite project. And then we will know next week who moves forward in the competition. So y'all, with that said, if you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you are digging this channel, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let's get back into it. All right, so our next DIY, we are going to use the Jennifer Page Simply Blessed calendar, and we are gonna take this um, Dollar Tree sign. I'm going to grab my Mod Podge. You could get this little one at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna just going to apply it on. I know there are so many different ways of applying Mod Podge and the paper on. I am somebody that is not like striving for perfection. I'm okay with the wrinkles and all of that stuff. So. This is how I chose to do it. So I'm just going to put it all over our sign. Then we are going to get our calendar page. I'm gonna put that on there. Now we have that hole on top. So what I did was just cut a little piece of the calendar off that we're not gonna be using. Of course my forehead has to make an appearance in my videos. If you're new, hello, let me introduce you to my forehead. It's in a lot of my videos. Okay, so now I'm just going to try and smooth this down the best I could. Obviously you could see there's wrinkles, that's okay. Now taking a rough sanding block from Dollar Tree, I am going to sand in downward motions. So some tips here, make sure that your Mod Podge is dry and then go in downward motions. If you go in like sideways trying to sand it, it's going to pull up that paper. So this is what I've found works best. So we are going to take that all the way around. It is gonna give us nice, crisp, beautiful lines like it was made to be a part of this sign. Now taking a grapevine, grapevine wreath. We're taking more apart, you guys. I found this in my closet. I've had it forever like this. Look, it even still has the tags. Oh my goodness, girlfriend. Okay, so we are gonna take this. I am going to take our sign. Now y'all know I usually cover the back of my signs, but since I couldn't find staples, I decided I was going to attach pipe cleaners with hot glue. Now, when I put shipping paper on the back of this and you hot glue something on top of that shipping paper, it tends to pull the shipping paper off. So that's why I just needed to make sure you guys knew why I was not covering this, okay? So we're gonna put four in each corner here. I just got my pipe cleaners from Dollar Tree. I think these are from Halloween or something. After we're done doing that, make sure they they dry really well because you don't want to pull at them and then they fall off. So now we're easily, grapevine wreaths are so, so easy to work with y'all because 
you just put everything through the little branches and you, it's like perfection. You don't have to use hot glue on these wreaths, which I love. So I am just pushing the pipe cleaners through. Everett needed his Pez. You guys, why haven't they, after all this time, why haven't Pez been easier to put inside the actual Pez? Like why, why does it have to be one by one? Is that the joy of it? I don't know. Anyways, so back to our DIY. All right, now we have those on. Now I'm going to take some baby eucalyptus. It's actually just called eucalyptus, but I think it looks way smaller than regular, regular eucalyptus. So I call it baby eucalyptus. It's from Walmart. So I'm gonna go ahead and sporadically put this in first. I don't want it super full because I did not know where I was going with this yet. So I'm just gonna start piecing it like one by one and then I'll start getting some fuller branches after this. And as you can see, I'm not using any hot glue. I am just sticking this through the branches and it's a great way of recycling your items. So after I'm done getting all of my little leaves in there, then we are going to take the Sola Wood Flowers. They sent me these. Thank you so much to them because they are so much fun to work with. They are so light. They're so beautiful. And I was able to just get floral wire and stick them right in the back here. Now, the bigger ones, I will show you. I used um, these bigger gray ones. Those did need a little dab of hot glue with the floral wire. But um, I used two mixed bags of these. So I'll leave my affiliate link and the flower down in my description box for you if you wanted to check those out and I am just randomly placing these and as you see again no hot glue at all with these great vine wreaths there's just so many nooks and crannies you could stick the wires into you could even make them longer and twist them around the branches in the back if you want but I'm going to go ahead and add two more of the gray flowers and then Hanky had to come make an appearance he was feeling lonely he was like, mom, pet me. And then let me shed all over your craft table. Yep, he's like, no, mm -mm. I want the love and, and I want to slobber. Okay, back to the craft. So we're going to go ahead and finish placing those flowers. And that's it, you guys. I love the way this turned out. I like that it's not like super heavy, I guess you can say. And I mean, who doesn't love these Simply Blessed calendars? She also has an Instagram and an Etsy, so check her out. All right, y'all. So Bellway is an organic, all-natural, vegan, keto, paleo-friendly, and gluten-free fiber supplement that contains absolutely no sugar, and it's flavored with real fruit. So it's kind of like... You know when you put fruit in a water bottle? That's the kind of taste it is. It's just a very, very light hint. Um, Belly is also a supplement that's made with um, super fiber that nourishes your gut. It also helps with bloating, breakouts, and keeping you regular. Because y'all know as you get older, that stuff is for real. Okay, let's not lie to ourselves. So Belly is safe to drink one to three times a day. Uh, you just simply mix it with water or a shake and it comes in a tub and it also comes in stick packs and it starts at $19.99 and if you use my code unicorn20 you will get 20% off your first order. I will leave the links down in the description box for you and on to our next DIY. So for this one, we're going to use the new boxes from Dollar Tree, you know, the nesting boxes that they came out with. So I was having some difficult times with these stickers, but I took them off, rubbed some um, nail polish remover on them, and it ended up coming off. So we are going to deconstruct all of these, not deconstruct them, we're just taking the label thingy majiggers off of here, setting them to the side because we will be using them later. And then we are going to start painting these. So I decided to paint mine using Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. I am going to paint the, basically all of it. The tops, the insides. No, I lied. We're only gonna paint the ins, no, we're gonna paint the inside of the two big ones, but you do not have to do the small one. So I just do one coat on the sides and then two coats on the tops, or I should say bottoms, of two of them. So I hope, well, you'll see when you guys, 
when you guys mainly keep watching, you know. Okay, so now we're going to take, uh, I think it was four, five, six, seven, eight dowels from Dollar Tree. These are the 12 inch. You're gonna paint them all white. And then I'm going to take this brushed metal by Folk Art, which is made in the USA, y'all. And we are going to paint these because they were more of the brass color and I was going with grays and everything. So I decided to use this brushed metal and it came out absolutely gorgeous. Now, I start putting these back on, but I am going to distress these boxes. So I highly recommend doing that before you put them on work smarter, not harder, you know? All right, so now taking my plaid mini chip brush, which is absolutely amazing, I am going to distress all of it. The inside of this box right here, because the other two, you won't see the insides. Okay, so we're gonna take our hot glue gun. We're gonna take our dowel sticks and dowel rods, whatever they're called. And I'm putting the hot glue towards the bottom and the sides. And then I'm pushing the dowel rod down and up against the sides of the wall. So you can see right there. We're going to do that for all four of them. So this is going to be the bottom. That's why I painted the inside of this box. Or you can keep it the colors that they are because the colors are absolutely gorgeous on these. I was just, you know, it was, it was going with all my DIYs. So I painted it white with gray. All right. So after we're done with that, we're going to take the next bigger box and we're going to apply hot glue in there and we're going to slide the dowels down in there, let it set up for a minute before you flip it back around. After that settles up, then we are going to start playing with our dowel sticks on the side, which we are going to create an X shape. So your first dowel rod will sit flush with the walls of the um, square boxes. However, you guys, my hair and my forehead, hello. Um, this is how you know I'm involved in this DIY. I get all up in the camera. All right, so this one is not gonna sit flush. So you do need to hold it there just a little bit longer just so you make sure that it's it's stuck in there good, okay? But it does work, I promise. I'm gonna do the same thing for the opposite side of this, and then we're gonna move on to the top of our lantern. So here's our little guy, and I'm putting the hot glue towards the inside of the box. That way when we put it on top, it doesn't spill out. We don't want that. All right, so now taking this little pail, I'm gonna actually take the handle of it, and I played around with a bunch of different wooden pieces and uh, I end up going with the little square pieces from Dollar Tree. As you can see, I squeezed the side handles so that we can fit them into the holes of if you wanna use beads. I ended up drilling holes in these little squares and the handles actually fit in there. You'll see soon after I, I finish doing this. There we go. And that's gonna be the top piece to our lantern. So here you go, I thought that was fun. I loved the details on these boxes with the little label holders. I don't know what they're called, y'all. But I thought this was super chic, it was easy to make, and hopefully you guys can find these boxes. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Now we're moving on to the next one. Oh, surprise, <laughs> hold up. I wanted to show you what I submitted for the creative competition. Um, make sure to head over to Heidi's channel so you can vote for your favorite project and to see how I made this most importantly. All right, the last one, we are taking these signs from Dollar Tree. I am going to measure them down to 11 inches, eight inches, and five and a half inches long. Then I'm gonna take them out to my garage. I am going to cut them, voila! And I'm gonna clean these down, make sure all the debris is off of them. Now we are gonna move on to painting them. So I chose to paint mine three different colors. I'm gonna start with the Rust-Oleum in linen white. I did have to do quite a few coats on these. Um, for the white, at least three coats to cover up the pink. For whatever reason, the sides with the images sanded off perfectly fine, but the other sides didn't. Anyways, I'm using moss green for this one. This one just took like a heavy coat and we were good to go. And then for the third one, I used the still gray. I did have to do two coats for this paint to cover the pink. 
After we're done with that, I'm gonna take Antique Wax by Waverly and I am going to do a de-stressing on these. Now I'm taking my stencil brush from Dollar Tree. I guess I wanted you guys to watch me dry that. And I like when I do distressing to start from the outer edges and work in to it because I feel like it gives it more like definition, like almost like the paint's peeling from the outward going in. Does that make you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Okay, so I do this with all of our wood pieces. You can also just leave them nice and clean and painted. That is up to you. So after we are done with all three of these, I did make a stencil, not a stencil. I made a decal on my Cricut machine. We are going to apply those on. I guess I wanted you guys to see me paint everything. And <laughs> I'm using Vinyl Ease Transfer Tape, which is my absolute favorite. And then Oracle 651 Permanent Vinyl. We're going to apply those on here. And then we have ourselves a cute little stackable sign. You could even make these reversible. I was going to use um, rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree, but I never buy enough packs to make more than like a couple words. So I need to keep that in mind next time. All right. So that is it for these DIYs, you guys. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, I absolutely appreciate you coming over. I do hope that you subscribe and like this video. Also, make sure to check my link for the next person in the hop and to also head over to Heidi's channel so you can see what we submitted for our Creative Champion competition and make sure to vote for your favorite project. I appreciate you guys being here today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will see you soon. I look like a glistening sun goddess. <sighs> okay. Mine is the pimple on the side of my neck. Is this too, like, too glowy? I don't know. I think it's the lighting. We are gonna go with it. Another Walmart shirt in my collection. Okay. Hello there. Welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy. Oh, no. Look at that background. As usual. Today, you guys, is the first video on the creative... No, what, what is it? Creative Champion Competition. Creative Champion Competition. What is it called? Yeah, girl. I had to go look that up real quick. Oh, what? <laughs> Let's do this again. This is bothering me. No. That was so corny. <laughs> okay, bye. What are you doing? Hmm? Are you gonna come in and go to bed? Are you gonna get off the table? Come on. Come on, let's go to bed. Stop being a creeper, come on, really.